What is up, hard rock and metal fans? Well, I finally came back with a new installment in this series, which I've been doing. And thanks to so many of you who have liked the videos I've done previously, shared comments, you know, gotten in touch with me. Really, really appreciate it. And I know many of you have been wanting me to do this video. I myself have been wanting to do it for a long time, um, a very long time, in fact. And it's uh, finally uh, at a point where I felt I could do it. Uh, I wish it had, I could have done it sooner, but anyway, here it is, uh, which is about KK Downing, his uh, now <laughs> not so new band, KK's Priest. And they have released what I consider to be two classic records. Um, for me, these really sit in the vein, uh, obviously him being an important piece of the trilogy of Judas Priest being a co-founder of the band and so on and me being a huge fan of him and Glenn and considering these two guys to be you know the most dynamic guitar duo to ever grace rock and metal uh, so to hear KK you know come back out of retirement you know start to play live again you know record these two albums was just a wonderful thing and I think these two albums Sermons of the Sino and The Sinner Rides Again are both classics. I think there's a lot to enjoy, especially if you're not just a Judas Priest fan, but a heavy metal and hard rock fan. Uh, there's a blistering, you know, array of all kinds of solos. Tim Ripper Owens is, you know, just killing it, you know, with his vocal styles. You have, you know, other guitarists, uh, AJ Mills, you have uh, Tony Newton on bass. And you have Sean Elg, you know, on drums, you know, who's a real powerhouse in himself. And it shows, you know, there's enough of an opportunity for all the musicians to showcase their talent, to showcase their abilities, you know, how well they work together and what it is that they bring to the table. Between the two records, and I know many of you wanted to know my opinion, between the two records, I obviously think that The Sinner Rides Again is a huge step up from Sermons of the Sinner, which in itself was a great debut. Uh, when I heard it, I just uh, kept putting it on repeat. I still do till this day, and that shows and presents a lot about how it is as an album. Uh, and I think one of the biggest highlights, obviously, for me is, you know, songs like, you know, uh, Brothers of the Road and especially Return of the Sentinel which then segues so well with the way the start of the new album is, which is Sons of the Sentinel, right? So it's like a trilogy of songs, you know, obviously the first part being on the Defenders of the Faith Judas Priest album way back in 84, if I'm not wrong. And um, for those of you guys who know how much I love Judas Priest, know that that's one of my top three records uh, from the band of all time. And so I think that uh, these records have a lot to offer. There's more of an operatic feel on the Sinner Rides Again, as opposed to Sermons of the Sinner, which is a lot more straightforward in its tone and even lyrical content. It's just about, you know, really about having a good time, pledging your allegiance to the metal community, metal music, uh, the concerts that you go to, whereas the Sinner Rides Again is, you know, more diverse in its themes and looking at, you know, life and death and, um, you know, a few other innuendos which are, you know, carefully uh, added in. Um, I think that the fans have, you know, also spoken as to how well it's uh, both records have been received. And it would be wonderful to actually see, you know, what KK does next. You know, I think if he does release a third album, uh, it would be wonderful. And maybe, you know, even doing a record, maybe even a double album where one um, disc or one record is just uh, covering, you know, the two albums that uh, Ripper did with uh, Judas Priest, you know, which was Jugulator and Demolition. You know, pick out the best songs from that, make uh, that be a part, uh, side two of uh, the third album, and obviously side one being, you know, full of original material. Uh, something like that would really knock our socks off. It certainly would knock mine off for that matter. And I think for those of you, you know, who have been very hesitant, not too sure about, you know, how KK's Priest is, is it just a clone of his original band, Judas Priest? Uh, I think you'll find that there's a lot of progression here. There's a lot of progressive themes. There's a way in which he's pushed himself as a player, songwriter, and so on. I know, and I will give credit, that there are a lot of folks who have pointed out how, at points, the lyric, lyrics excuse me, have been uh, a little more than, you know, what uh, could you know merit being on this record. I mean, in the sense that there could be a little more depth to them. There could be a little more uh, poetic uh, infusion, uh, something that, you know, obviously 
was very present and obviously the comparison is fair you know with the uh, Judas Priest but with many other bands as well so i think that on the second record they do do that they do go a little deeper in their lyrical content uh and hopefully if there is a third record we will see a lot more of that because as a band they've really you know gone through this evolution of gelling and working well together and then finally reaching a point you know where they're reaching that sort of comfort zone and they're working as a well oiled machine and i think the live concerts show that you know everyone who's attended i know some folks who have attended some of those shows so uh, fortunately in europe when they did happen all you and they said that kk was on fire and the band was playing extremely well uh the comments and likes itself you know even on places like youtube and other uh, forums you know show that so obviously great stuff do check these records out i think you'll love them uh give them a fair play and i certainly look forward to what's next in store for kk and the rest of the band and for the rest of you guys thanks so much do take care and rock on